Conventionally, the treatment for a plastic anemia in elderly population has been challenging because of the issues of drug tolerability, infections, clonal hematopoiesis in these patients, which reduce their chances of response to immunosuppressive therapy. So to that cause, we did a retrospective analysis of patients who had presented to MD Anderson and were getting treated with ATG-based immunosuppressive therapy as first line. So we had a cohort of around 40 patients who were elderly, so more than 60 years, and we compared them to around 60 patients who were young. The median age group in the older arm was 70 years compared to 30 years in the younger arm. We looked at their baseline characteristics, the burden of their cytogenetic anomalies, and mutations in the DNMT3A, ASXL, and TET2, which is known as the DAT mutations. So there have been data that has shown that patients who have DAT mutations can have lower responses to immunosuppressive therapy. So we looked at the frequency of DAT mutations in both these populations, and we also compared their responses in survival. Quite interestingly, we found that when these patients received ATG-based immunosuppressive therapy, both the elder and the younger patients have no statistical difference in their response rates and relapse-free survival. And this is actually novel data. The overall survival for younger patients was of course higher because a lot of them who did not respond or lost response after having initially responded to ATG therapy could be subsequently salvaged with a stem cell transplantation, which is not possible with the younger population. We are further working on this data to look at variables which can predict responses and we hope to have that manuscript out soon.